Hi guys, how you lot doing? Hope you're all well. So I've just finished uni and I've started working as an electronics control engineer about 10 days ago. Absolutely loving it. And I just wanted to do a quick video explaining what I do now. So I work for a hydraulics control company that implements large industrial control systems. So for things like bridges and metal forging presses, that kind of stuff. They design and manufacture a lot of pumps and valves and a lot of mechanical engineering whilst I'm on the electrical side of things. So I'm, I'm part of a small team of electrical engineers and my role is basically to take a hydraulic system design and create the electronics and the electrical control system needed to make that hydraulic system work. So if you think about, for example, a bridge that goes up and down, then those bridges, they obviously have a large hydraulic system in them and I need to create the electronics that are involved in that and the system involved to make that bridge work. So things like, you know, the traffic light, you know, all of the sensors that are involved in that to make sure that, you know, the bridge is actually raised, just all of the electrical stuff, you know, the even the, the power, all of that. So yeah, loads are involved in things like a bridge or in a big metal forging press. And so my role would be to select the electrical hardware that's needed for that system, then create the electrical wiring diagrams create the electrical control program on a programmable logic controller, which is a PLC, uh, and then implement and commission that system as well. So actually go out to site and install that system as well, and then provide training to the operators that are on site. So this kind of role is like right up my alley, you know, there's just so much to do and there's a ridiculous amount of variety. So in the 10 days that I've, I've been there, just the amount of stuff that I've done, it's just been brilliant, you know? So I've done a whole lot of software programming. Today I have my multimeter out, I connected in a free phase supply into a control panel. You know, I got really, you know, I didn't get that dirty, but you know, literally like out there, like on the shop floor, basically messing about with wires, stripping wires. You know, I'm currently in the process of trying to find some old parts for stuff that they ordered from like two, 10 years ago. 2012 and I, I need to find some parts so I can build an uh, electronics control module that controls a valve. Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe redesigning one of their old PCBs so it can fit in a new enclosure. So I've already got a nice long to-do list of stuff that I'm working on and it's, it's just brilliant. I'm absolutely enjoying it. So I think to end this video and keep it short, I just want to comment on like how prepared I am because that's the thing that you might think that I know what I'm doing. And what I would say is that, you know, coming out of university, from what I can gather so far, and again, like it's only been 10 days, I would say I'm about 10% of the way there. I'm about 10% prepared for this. Like the vast majority of what everyone there talks about, I don't have a clue. You know, you I listen to these guys talk about valves and pumps and I'm just like, what's a valve? What's a pump? No, <laughs> well, I didn't, it took me, it took me like four days to realize that they use oil in hydraulic systems. I thought a hydraulic system was just water. So I'm guessing like 95% of the stuff that I learned at university, I'll never use. Um, but the one thing I would say that university has given me is that it's given me the confidence that when I'm sitting there in, you know, like for example, some of the meetings I've been sitting in or, you know, when, when my trainer has been helping me out, talk, explaining some things to me, like showing me hydraulic diagrams, or whatever. When I'm in those conversations and listening to them, I feel like, you know, I'll easily be able to understand all of this stuff. You know, just give me time, basically. I don't feel like there's like a limit to, you know, oh, that will be too complicated for me to understand. I look forward to doing a lot more videos on this topic. I'm not really sure what I can and can't share right now. So I'm just going to, you know, crack on, carry on working keep learning and then hopefully I can bring you guys along on the journey with me and maybe when I go out to some sites I can show you guys some cool stuff so yeah look forward to that and yeah I'll speak to you guys soon